Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Festivities, Jolly Good Old Time, overall and to everyone. It's the season of the holidays, at least if you're in the Western Hemisphere and so many different places, this is the season of festivities and of vacation, of uh, going to stay with your family or of having family come stay with you and of taking a break. So I just wanted to make a little video wishing you happy festivities, obviously, and also to say something else. If you watch my July 4th video or my video about August, then you might have an idea of what I'm gonna talk about. What I want to say now is not to neglect this period, not to take it for granted. Now, I'm not telling you by any means that you should skip this time of the year or that you should be working throughout all the holidays. On the other hand, the good thing about being a freelancer is that you don't need an office, you don't need permission, you don't need to clock in and out, and you can work whenever you want. Chances are, if you're having family stay with you, if you're going to stay with family, or even if you're not, you have a couple days in between Christmas and New Year's, say, or between New Year's and Epiphany, if you celebrate the Epiphany, which they do in this part of the world. So you don't want to neglect this time of year. The main reason why I bring this up is that if you follow the usual websites like Pros and Translators Cafe, etc., well, there are not many jobs available during this time of year. However, those who do need jobs done during this period are usually pretty desperate, which means that you're more likely to get a job, you'll definitely have less competition, you might even be able to charge more. You will probably have more chance at establishing a long-term relationship with this client. They're gonna remember you. You were the one who was available when no one else was available. Was able not only to get your job done, but to get it done during the holidays and well and with a good attitude and send it back. They will definitely remember something like that. All I'm saying is that, of course, you should be eating all the food that you can, drinking all the eggnog that you can, and spending time with your loved ones, but, if you do have some spare time and a couple spare days, you should not be neglecting your job because this is actually a great opportunity to jumpstart it. These festivities and vacations, when you have less competition around and when you're one of the only translators who can do the job, these are a great time to take advantage of. Maybe if you have been having trouble getting your first couple of clients and to get the ball rolling, this could be a great opportunity. So I do hope you have a great Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Epiphany, La Befana, they call it here. However, I also hope that you're able to get some new business, maybe earn some money, and hopefully have new clients by the new year, because that would be awesome too. That's it for now. I'll talk to you next time. Probably next year, actually. By the way, if for the next year you want a good resolution, try to start earning a living from freelance translation. And the best way to do that, the best first step, is to subscribe to this channel so you can have tips, tricks, tidbits, stories, anecdotes sent directly to you. You can watch them and hopefully learn something and hopefully it can help. If you have other ideas, by the way, for things that could help you, then feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to talk about it and happy to deal with the issue as well. Have a good one. Bye.